Maria, you're first up. Here's Jill Wanless. Uh, this is a very special request for Megan Bratt, who is head chef at our pub. She's leaving us to go travelling, and I'd like to wish her the best of luck. Megan's the most amazing person, not only on a professional level, but also on a personal one. She's become a great friend and confidant to the people that work with her. She's the type of person that will make you laugh your head off on the hardest of days. So she will be greatly missed. And thank you, Steve. How am I feeling? Mm, I don't know how I'm feeling. It's very, it's a very strange experience, isn't it, love? Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you think that you've overthought it, and then the last few days it's as if we haven't thought about it at all. Um, toileting, which is in the toilet rolls being loaded in preparation. Um, sleeping in a lay-by or hopefully pretty nice place every night, not really knowing where we'll be. Yeah, there's so many things we don't know and can't control, so we've just got to take a deep breath and chill. Okay. <laughs> Meg is currently outside packing the van and I've decided to finally start packing my clothes. But I'm not exactly sure where to begin. So they say men can't multitask, but here I am exploring our last few videos uh, before we hit the road while simultaneously packing my bags. If you're wondering uh, what these surroundings are, because the last time we filmed inside, we were at Meg's flat, but a few months ago we moved out and have been living in a static caravan in the sticks for the last few months. Living here, we've used it as a transition period from living in a one bed flat, which was quite big, to the caravan and then to a very small camper van. Don't tell Meg, but I'm nowhere near ready. <laughs> I'm hoping this won't take long. If you're interested, <clears throat> if you're into, oh. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing exactly what we've taken, let us know in the comment section below. Should we do a uh, wardrobe tour for you? What do you think, Cal? Should we do a wardrobe tour? Maybe. It's one of the most boring videos we've ever done. <laughs> We're now trying to pack all the cubes into here, but as you can see, Meg has very generously taken up two thirds of our storage cupboard. So I'm gonna have to take one pair of pants and one pair of socks. This is first draft everyone at home. This was <laughs> being a little bit dramatic. It's a good job we're not flying budget airlines because I think I would definitely be over my allowance. It's a shame they're not all like Louis Vuitton <laughs> suitcases because this would be really good. Instead, uh, they're just. Comes in basic bitch. <laughs> at least they match Look the at color. the colour. <laughs> well, that's it, we're out of room. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be packing light. Right, so we've decided to give the whole packing cube thing another rethink. We think it might be slightly easier for the bigger items to be laid out on the shelf. Yes? Yeah. And then have smaller items like socks and pants um, sort of neatened up inside the packing cubes. I think everything's going to go in. I'm feeling confident. I don't think it'll be a problem, will it? You've just got to be clever. This is not our forte. It is not. It's now time for getting real about things. It's not all fitting. Is it, Cal? Not quite. And now we've actually lost the beautiful <laughs> motion-sensored LEDs in the top of the cupboard because this is filled to the rafters. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> oh. So, it's not the end of the world, but we probably won't be using most of these. And unfortunately, my vomit green hoodie didn't make the cut. This will be going back into storage but we are getting there, slowly cramming everything in, uh, trying to decide what we do and don't need. It's pretty difficult, we're do doing a little bit, but we're doing our best and it's quite hard today because it is extremely hot outside. Here are my rejects. Second pair of pajama bottoms have been called. Don't know how I feel, ask me about it in three weeks time. <laughs> been ruthless. <laughs> There's a wall there. <laughs> 
How are you feeling? Is it all going to plan? Yeah, feeling quite excitable. Yeah, we could do with really now getting all the stuff on the top of the van again. Yes. You feel as if we're fanning and farting around a bit this morning. So now we're roughly there with the inside of the van. Well, I say roughly, we're nearly there. We've also got our roof box, bike rack, and surfboard sort of protection to go on the roof, uh, which hopefully won't take us too long. I'm now gonna get everything out of the roof box, which we've test packed, ready to put the roof box on top of the roof. But I was gonna show you what we can actually fit in it now. Sorry for the swapped out audio in the next part, the wind was far too much and destroyed the original. All I mentioned here was the fact that we have to put the roof box back on backwards. This is because it'd be far easier to open with our surfboards in place. We had some unforeseen hurdles when we did this, however, it is much less awkward. Now, as you saw earlier, Meg took all the stuff out to show you what was in there. That has now been placed back in safely and securely, and it still shuts. So all is good. We're just changing over our gas bottles to camping gas, uh, so that it's available in Europe. We won't have any trouble. Just got to change over our regulators. Forgot about this job, didn't we? Right, we've finally put our surfboards... Sorry? Sorry. We've finally put our surfboards on the roof. Not as easy as we thought it was going to be. Was it, love? Not quite. And we're knackered, and it's a cup of tea. We've also added some surfboard protection there and we've used some really good, quite cheap um, pipe insulation for this. Cut it to size and use matching zippy ties to keep it in place. The bike rack has been put on as well and tightened up more so than we've done before, so that's all ready to rock. We've added a bit more protection to stop it from rubbing on the van too. Just got to put the bikes on that. We'll do that now or later? Do it now. now. Right. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, yesterday was a bit more of a rush than we'd anticipated. Yes, it was, but we're finally ready. Yeah. And it is 11 o'clock. <laughs> On the 5th of July, 2019. Yeah. Yeah, we've just packed the van. We're saying goodbye to the caravan. Um, Fortunately, we've had really nice weather. Really nice weather, so uh, it's been quite nice. But uh, yeah, this is it. I've had my last shower. <laughs> Yeah, it's all still a bit surreal. We've got to go to um, do a bit of shopping first, which is going to feel weird. And then after that, we don't know where we're going to be tonight. I suppose we should get used to that feeling, shouldn't we? Yeah. Uh, we're going to try head to North Wales-ish. We want to go to Snowdon eventually, but we might go to the coast first. Yeah. So that's it. Um, so long, Shropshire. Yep, let the adventure begin. We finally had everything packed and we were ready to leave Shropshire, knowing that it may be quite a while until we return home. Join us in our next episode as we find our first wild camping spot and hit the beach. <laughs>